Hello everyone, this is Dr. Maggard, your instructor for this course, Introduction to Psychology. I've created this short tutorial to demonstrate the various areas of the classroom. When entering the class, you'll be brought to the announcements page. This is where I will post weekly announcements each Monday regarding the material to be covered that week. I will also post announcements on when grading is completed for the previous week and any other vital information for the entire class. Be sure to review these regularly and check to see when new announcements have been posted. The course menu on the left side of the screen provides links to the various areas of the class. We just covered announcements, which is the home page. Now we will take a look at course information. This area contains a link to the syllabus, information on the required textbook for the course, and an overview of the course schedule. Clicking on the syllabus will open up the syllabus in PDF format, which you can then view or download to your computer. I would highly recommend downloading this document and reviewing it many times before the course starts. The course schedule displayed here is also available on the last page of the syllabus, so you can download and mark off items as you complete them. The task list link on the course menu will take you to the various tasks for the course and their due dates. This list does not include reading the text of, or lecture notes or utilizing other resources in the class, only items that are directly related to your course grade. I would recommend going to this page each time you enter the class to see what is due. You can change the status of an item using the check, check boxes and the drop down at the top, and you can sort by due date or task status. This list is for your reference only, so play around with the list to see how it might be useful to you. The instructor link on the course menu will take you to my contact information and bio. If you have questions of a personal nature, problems with the quiz or exam, and other issues, feel free to contact me via the address listed here. Be sure to always include your full name in the email. The weekly modules area is where the bulk of the content and assignments for the class are contained. This area includes a module for each week, which will become available at the start of that week. Once made available, the content will remain available for the entire course. If you click on the week, such as week one here, you are taken to a table of contents for that week's related materials and assignments. The first page that displays is the to-do list. I would recommend checking this every time you enter the weekly module to make sure you have or will complete everything listed. The next item in the weekly module is the objectives for each module covered that week. These include what students are expected to be able to do after each module. It is recommended that students review these when studying for the exams to make sure they are able to meet these objectives. The first folder listed for each week is the materials folder. Within these folders are a series of additional folders to house the various types of content. The lecture notes folder contains slides that can be used to guide your learning in the textbook. Using the link at the top, you can get to the screen that will allow you to download the PDF file to your computer for later use. The next folder is the videos folder, which contains videos I've created or found online that relate to the week's materials. All posted videos will have closed captioning available. The next folder is the resources folder, which contains links to resources online that relate to the week's material. Each week will have a link to the textbook companion site, which is associated with the required text for this course. Once you are on the site, you can review crossword puzzles, flashcards, quizzes, etc. that can help you learn and further test your knowledge of the material. Use the drop down at the top of the page to go to the chapter you want to view resources for. The assignments folder in the weekly module contains all of the graded assignments for the week. These include discussions, quizzes, and exams, which will be housed in the respective folders. Since the quizzes are due each week, they are assigned, this folder will disappear once the week has ended. So it is very important to make sure you take these before the Sunday midnight deadline. This applies to the exams folder as well. If you click on a discussion board in the discussions folder, such as week one discussion board here, you can view the instructions and link directly to the discussion board 
to make your posting. Typically, discussions require that you download exercises to complete offline and then submit your responses in the body of your posting. You will not be able to reply to other students or view their postings until you create your own initial posting. Use the Create Thread option to make your initial posting. To go directly to discussions for a particular week, click on the discussion board, which is linked on the course menu. You can also use this link to go to the Ask Dr. M and Cyber Cafe forums, where you can post questions for me or for your classmates. The other important areas of the class include my grades, tools, and help. My Grades takes you to a listing of your grades for the graded assignments. Tools has various resources for the class, such as the ability to send me a message directly in the classroom. The Help area takes you to Blackboard Help. So if you have a question or problem with how to do something in Blackboard, feel free to use this resource. If you need specific computer or MSJC access help, contact the MSJC Help Desk. Issues with understanding content or course material, grades, finding something in the class, etc., please contact me or post a question to the Ask Dr. M forum. Thank you.